Batman is a pretty strong guy, working out almost every possible second he can to fight crime to the best of his abilities. I mean, the guy can literally lift 800 to 1000 pounds on a good day. Jesus. But when he can't lift that weight in a life or death situation, his mental state goes down the shitter and Batman sadly gets addicted to drugs. As we see in a story where Gotham City is undergoing a flood and Batman is desperately searching a sewer main to find the captured little girl. Desperately, Batman would move heavy boulder after heavy boulder, promising the little girl that he will save her. However, over time, his body starts to tire as he tries every way he possibly can to lift the last boulder blocking his path to the girl. And after so many attempts, he fails to save the girl as she drowns to death. After this, Bruce starts to slip into a depression, blaming himself for not being strong enough to save the girl. And feeling guilty, he even tries to lift the weight of the boulder back at the cave and severely injures his shoulder. And after three days of no sleep or proper rest, Batman tries to fight crime, but completely and utterly fails. Afterwards, he would visit the girl's father, Dr. Porter, to talk about his daughter. But Dr. Porter would dismiss what happened to his daughter and just so happened to be making a drug that enhances the user's strength. And he would offer Batman to try out the drug, telling him that it will increase his strength tenfold. So Batman would end up using the drug and being able to successfully lift the weight of the boulder back at the cave. And upon receiving this new enhancement of strength, he would track down the thugs that kidnapped the girl and give them a beating of a lifetime while crazily laughing. Bruce would also start to ditch the Batman costume and beat up random citizens of Gotham, taking pleasure from it, further consuming pill after pill, getting increasingly stronger, but also increasingly dumber and more fixated on getting the next batch of drugs. And if Batman didn't get his fix right away, he would take his aggression out on criminals, usually putting them into comas. It would start to get so bad that Alfred would quit working for Bruce, seeing the monster that he had become. And eventually, Bruce would run out of the pills again and get so angry that he would set out to hurt Dr. Porter. However, unexpectedly, upon reaching him, he would beg Dr. Porter for more pills. But in turn, Dr. Porter would tell Batman that in order to receive more pills, he would have to kill his friend, Commissioner Gordon. And with Batman so intent on getting the pills, he would set out to kill Gordon. Batman would then wait for Gordon to leave his house for his nightly walk to ambush him, but seeing the monster he's become by literally almost breaking his code, he would try to stop Dr. Porter. However, after Batman would find Dr. Porter, he would flash in Batman's face the drug he so desperately wanted, distracting Batman giving him enough time to escape. And while Dr. Porter would escape, Batman would desperately scrounge through the bushes to find his drug. And upon finding the pills, he would laugh in excitement but instantly feel ashamed that he's let a drug control him. So Batman would later dump the pills from a rooftop. After dumping the pills, Batman would then call Alfred for help, telling Alfred to lock him in the cave for a whole month to get the drug completely out of his system. Once Bruce would enter the cave, he would demand Alfred to not open the cave no matter what. So 10 days would pass and Alfred would listen to Bruce in agony on the intercom. Then day 25 would come with Alfred trying to convince Bruce to come out, but Bruce would stay true to his word, only leaving after a whole month. The third day, Alfred would try again, but Bruce would yell, not until the next day, not until it's been a full month. And once the month had finally passed, Alfred would open the cave and Bruce would walk out completely disheveled, but finally clean of the drug that was destroying his life. And all Bruce wanted to do was take a long hot shower, clean up, and feel the sunlight on his face. Ending the story with Bruce persevering through the addiction and rising up again as the Batman. I hope you all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.